Hi Virgo, welcome back. This is your extended oracle of love for singles who's coming towards you. But now we're going to be looking into this person's previous relationship. If they've been single, I mean we saw in the general reading that this person was coming out of something. If this wasn't pertaining to trouble, this person was coming out um, of an experience of a certain life um, that, did, that no longer served them. So it might have been this relationship. Or it could have been they're coming out of singledom when they meet you because the two of you will couple up. But we'll have a look and see what this person's previous relationship was like. Why the relationship went wrong and what it is that they're looking for this time around when you, the two of you meet. Okay, temperance. Look, they're a very hopeful person. And I think their previous ex-partner, their previous relationship they were with taught them a lot of things with the temperance card. It taught them patience. Um... Look, a lot of these values this person exhibits is because of their upbringing, I feel, and the nature of the person. But I definitely think the person they were previously with might have been a Sagittarius. But again, it seems for the most part with the Temperance card that it was quite a harmonious relationship. Um, look, it was alchemy, but there's mu um, there's like mutuality here. So I'm not sure if they if it was a mutual breakup and they both agreed on doing this. But look, it was a very lovely union I think they had. Let's see what else is coming up. Okay, seven of wands. All right, maybe not. This is disruption, defensiveness, especially if they're a fire sign, Sagittarius in particular. If this person is a Sagittarius or the X is a fire sign, um, there was a lot of defensiveness and there was a lot of anger or resentment coming into the relationship. Now, it's uncertain whether it stems from this person or their ex, but there was one party, one person in this relationship that definitely felt they were doing things on their own, definitely felt like they were in a corner and they had to defend themselves. They had to really protect their ego, protect themselves from what this other person was doing. And again, I think it's more the ex than this person. Okay, six of swords it could be that they separated because of disagreement um, separated because there's geographical distance between the two of them they had to move they had to relocate but again I feel like with the swords here and sort of this this these gloomy colors in this card it can indicate that relationship wise emotionally things were just not aligning with this person's morals, with this person's beliefs and what this person thought a, a marriage or a relationship should be. It didn't live up to those expectations. So they definitely made the move to walk away, but someone left someone. Look, it could have happened very quickly. I think for the most part, they were in a harmonious relationship. Maybe towards the end of this relationship, it really got to that defensive stage where there was uncertainty, there was lack of clarity. With the Six of Swords, it could have been um, geographical distance as well. But the Six of Wands, this does speak of harmony and success and conquest. It could have been that they separated for quite some time and then they came back together. So I think there's possibly a rebirth that happened in the relationship. Six of Pentacles. They did seek help or they did seek um, maybe professional assistance with the Six of Pentacles, whether it was through therapy, a, a counsellor, spiritualist, uh, or a trusted, experienced adult that they seeked help about the direction of this relationship. I think in a lot of parts, this relationship was quite smooth going. Um, because the Six of Wands, the Temperance, this does indicate that there was a lot of um, definitely a lot of highs, definitely a lot of good times. This person did learn a lot. But it's almost like they got their life back, like they were victorious. They got their life back um, and in control. And they moved away from the turbulent emotional waters of this relationship into something more satisfying. So it could have been that they left this relationship and then remained single for quite some time. I think the most part is just emotionally they couldn't deal with, I don't think it's in their nature to deal with too much drama, too much anger, too much insecurities. As an understanding, as as patient and as kind as this person is, I think this all just piled up too much for them. I mean, they seek the help. They didn't just leave. They definitely seeked help. 
Um, they definitely try to balance things out, which shows consistency. The Pentacles is all about consistency and stability. So this person was consistent in maintaining balance in the relationship, which shows that they really did try to make amends. It could have been that they might have fallen apart for quite some time, maybe six months. Um, six has come up twice, oh, sorry, three times. Six has come up three times, so maybe for six months. Um, maybe for six years they, they went apart and then they came back together in a relationship, tried to make it work a second time around, but it was just a no-go. It just didn't work for the both of them. But look, they did try. The fact is the effort was there. So they were still willing to to do this. So I think this is where the relationship went wrong. And look, what they're really, they're really looking for is someone that is very balanced, Virgo, someone that has a lot of direction and someone that can give 50-50 in this relationship if they don't see the hard work you're putting into it and the balance what you're contributing to this relationship i think this will really turn them off they might shut down um, they might walk away maybe it's solitude that they'll need with the six of swords but maybe this is their way of dealing with things this is their way of remedying things but i think for the most part they are looking for someone who is um, very spiritual very honest very open and certainly wants the same balance as they do because they want victory in love. They want someone who will appreciate what it is that they do. This person really does go above and beyond for their partners and the people they're in relationship with, uh, the people they hold very close to them and very dear to them. You know, there's a lot of sentimentality there and appreciation. And I think for them, that's their biggest thing that they're searching for from someone is that this generosity, this understanding this effort can be reciprocated and appreciated because they are wanting victory but they want to be appreciated that's not to say you know this is egotistical and this person wants to be idolized and admired and treated like an emperor this this, this isn't this isn't that this person they just want to have a little bit of appreciation and balance and not having and not having a relationship where they have to do everything and this other person doesn't, where they have to put in 80% in the relationship and the other person only a measly 20, it just won't work for them. This is not who they are. Um, they're all about equality and fairness and they will go above and beyond, but I think what they're really searching for is a magical spiritual connection with the temperance card and definitely balance. Definitely they want someone who's going to be there when they're at their lowest points and will definitely be there when they're at their highest points. So we see the lowest points, the Six of Swords, the highest points, the Six of Wands. So through thick and thin, they don't want someone that's going to give up as soon as, as, soon as it gets tough or rocky. They want someone who's going to persevere with them. But look, let's have a look at how the relationship will be and how the two of you will feel each other once you do come together. On the left-hand side, I'd like to do how you'd feel, Virgo, when this person comes in around you, how you'd feel towards them when you get into a relationship, how you'll see this other person. And then on the right-hand side, I'll do how they'll feel about you. Okay, first card, the Knave of Swords. Okay, the Knave of Swords uh, is indicative of vulnerability. I think you'll feel quite vulnerable, uh, quite exposed with them, which I think shows that you'll try to initiate trust or you'll um, initiate certain boundaries or let go, I should say, of certain boundaries with the Knave of Swords. This is having a lot of openness and honesty, so I think there's... There's a reliance or a really strong trustworthiness. You'll hold this person in high regard because you know you can confide in them. You know you can trust them. You know you can communicate to them about anything, about your thoughts, how you're, feel how you're feeling, and expose those vulnerabilities or insecurities you have. And they'll be very understanding as so long as you're honest. But I think this is good. The swords are communication, and I see you writing things down here. So it's almost like there is a lot of correspondence and communication with this person there is a lot of connection very mentally that will certainly carry the relationship and especially how you feel towards them because in your nature and as the person that you are Virgo it's so crucial to you to be mentally engaged and satisfied um, 
with the person that you're with and stimulated because this is you're so analytical and you're so in your mind about these things but the fact that this person can somehow ease the way you think or the way you communicate um, even if it's letting off steam even if there's someone that is your rock and you're able to talk to them and confide in them this speaks volumes of the kind of person they are and it speaks volumes of how you'll feel about them and the trust and the reliance um, that you'll place um, in this person Okay, followed by the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles have come up twice. It's equality, it's charity, it's help being given and received. So again, I think this person is going to help you through a lot. The Six of Pentacles has come up twice. This nurturing um, ability of them, this benevolent nature that they have, I think this is how you will see them. It's almost like for you women out there, you know, that think that, you know, if you need saving or think you need saving, it's almost like a superman that's coming in. Or if you're a male, it's a superwoman that's coming in. And, you know, not all of us need saving, but some of us on some level do. And it's almost like when this person comes in and you form a union with him or her, you will see just how amazing love and relationship can be. Especially having that person that is a life partner that is there by your side no matter what goes on that is your rock, that is there through the good, that is there through the bad, you'll definitely feel this person has your back. And this is strong. There's vulnerability here, but there's also a lot of trust. Um, and I think this person will come in there and make you think differently about relationships and about having someone special around you. I love this. There's consistency here. Consistent with help, consistent with trust, with the pentacles. Okay, the Ten of Wands. There can be times when, the, when you will feel things are a little bit off. The Ten of Wands is the upside down Jed. Um, it should be up like this. But we see it like this. And this can show that there's um, a little bit of imbalance of how you feel towards them. Or sometimes a little bit of imbalance from the relationship. So it could be that things turn upside down quite quickly. Now, I'm not sure if this is thoughts, this is the fire sign, if you have fire in your chart or this person that's coming in is the fire sign, but if this is how you feel towards them, then something or something that they'll do or something they do habitually or something they've done in their past won't sit well with you and it's you'll see how quickly it can turn the relationship down. But I, look, look, I think it's, it's indicative that you'll work through obstacles together. Judging by the other cards, I think that it's very easy to turn this back upright. It could just be out of place in some periods of the relationship, but other times, you know, it will be turned um, upright. And it could be oppression. It could feel like you feel um, a little bit oppressed by this person, whether it's because they want to help you too much, you might feel somewhat suffocated in that regard, Virgo. But again, it's all about keeping that communication open and telling this person how you feel, should you feel suffocated, should you feel this person is trying to mentor you a little bit too much, should you feel this person is trying to help you a little bit too much. So you can turn that 10 around and you can have this harmonious relationship but I think it's more them doing it to you than you doing it to them with the 10. But let's have a look at how this person will feel towards you um, when you come into a relationship. Ace of Chalices. This is someone um, they feel, well, this is someone that will fall in love with you. Let's put it plain and simple. Ace of Chalices. This is a golden opportunity. This is the soul of Osiris. This is a soulmate connection. They'll see that you are a blessing that you are soulmates, that you are just so connected, that you are kindred spirits, that this is the way they'll feel about you. Possibly it's a first for them because it is the one. So it's possibly the first time they ever were deeply so in love with someone or so spiritually connected to someone. So they'll definitely idolize and praise um, being in a relationship with you, idolize you and have a very strong emotional connection here. Very much this could be a very deep love, 
affection and very strong care for you with the ace of chalices love this very strong emotion towards you um, beautiful a karmic connection they'll feel it's extra special okay the moon card there could be some sort of mystery how they see you or some anxiety towards the relationship again balance is their biggest factor the white and the black pyramids are here so they need balance again something about imbalance is coming from either you or this person here um, but this is anxiety intuition uncertainty something mystical going on around imbalance or possibly secretive behavior um, we have what looks like a scorpio here so um, possibly secretive behavior and it's almost like they'll be, they're very intuitive so when your moods are off Virgo or when you're not feeling like you're aligning with this person when you're feeling like you're zigzagging they're going zag and you're going zig something's not working here they'll definitely feel it and I think this can cause a bit of anxiety or tension or turbulence in how this person feels towards you look there's a lot of emotion and I wouldn't be too surprised if they are someone ruled by Cancer Pisces or Scorpio or have these elements in their chart especially like in their moon sign this can indicate that they will pick up a lot of emotion from you however you're feeling what you're thinking they're very in tune in this way and this will throw them off balance so I think this is your biggest thing it's for them it's balance in the relationship um, and for you it's it's things being upright all the time which they can't possibly be definitely not in relationships but you can the both of you can definitely work towards that to remedy that because you do have a wonderful balance you do make a beautiful compatible couple together and you will bounce off each other you just need to learn how um, but again secret behaviors secret rendezvous um, secret chats with an ex Virgo are not going to sit well with them they're not going to tolerate this sort of behavior and they'll definitely know something's up they have a certain intuitive maybe even psychic link to to this relationship and you know you don't want to break their heart because they will be emotionally invested as we can see okay the hermit sometimes they may feel that you'll retract from them virgo but you've come up you do rule the hermit so this says in conjunction with the ace of chalices this says that you are very influential and you are very important to them look they're very focused on the people in their li in the um they're very focused towards the people in their lives they very much show a lot of attention but this could be somewhat suffocating for you and sometimes they might feel like you retract and you become the hermit and you retract and withdraw from this relationship and this is where i think their mind starts to wander so again it could be an over anxious um, disposition that they have and when you do take those breaks because what's bringing the two of you together the seven of wands defensiveness uncertainty vulnerability i think when that if that's bringing the two of you together it could also bring the two of you apart so i think balance open lines of communication i think is the biggest factor for this relationship to work but look you will be very influential um, over them and you're wearing this wonderful robe of white which is purity so they definitely see they want purity and they see purity in you and you know you're not in this sort of melancholy background here you're amongst the water here you've got the sun shining so i really do think they see you in a beautiful light um, i think it's if anything they just worry or care too much for you and this can be somewhat suffocating possibly but for the most part a wonderful relationship here is brewing virgo so i do wish you all the best